Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Welcome to our weekly session. And yes, we will start with our uh, usual practice. So as we discussed last time, we are going to continue with the discussion of one of the conversation from my tutorial. So who wants to start? Emily, is it you or Paula? I can start. That's fine. Okay. Let me stop sharing. Uh, sorry, here we go. Okay. So this is the, this is the teacher student conversation. Mm -hmm. And so I just, what I did was, um, I put, I pasted the whole conversation into one page and then I mm -hmm. did a breakdown of all the sentences with mm -hmm. all the verbs in this column and all the vocab in this column. Good. Sweet. So um, I'll do, I have it until the 22nd sentence. <laughs> mm -hmm. So after that, or I can do maybe the first 15 and then somebody else can take over the second half, however yep. we want to do it. Okay. So the first two sentences are really easy, so I'm going to skip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basa is the formal um, imperative. To saying to sit. Um, bukolcha, bukolacha, hmm? uh, tas, ahe, na. Um, so bukol is geography, and then adding cha makes it um, the hour of geography. Tas is hour, yeah. and then na is just confirmation. Um, Pustak ka, kara, kara, kadha, sorry. Mm. To take out is kadha. Um, and then I, for every verb, I put a breakdown of how it becomes into that form. Mm -hmm. um, pustak is book. So take out your book. Dha, dhava. Uh, the ha ughada dhava ughada ughada um dhara right sorry uh dhara is chapter and dhava is so dha is 10 and then adding the va makes it 10th dhara uh dhava so 10th chapter yeah dhava dhara hmm. Uh, ukhara, so open up again in the same uh, imperative, formal, plural form. Do you want me to remove the spell check thingies? Oh, it's okay for now. Okay. Rahan is offering to take off the spell check. <laughs> um, so then, Kal, yesterday, Alparn, we, uh, uh, Urdha. Ard, Sorry, the Urd, the R swoopy on the top always makes messes me up. Dhara, chapter. Shikle, shik Shiklo, Sorry. Ah, uh, uh, Hoto. Mm. So, here's the breakdown here. Yesterday, um, Yesterday we Ardha is half over here. Mm -hmm. Um Dhara chapter Shiko Shikle Shiklo learned Hoto did learn. Um Am I am I speeding through this too fast or is this good? <laughs> Uh, Paula Ellis, is it good for you? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping up the pace. <laughs> keeping okay. up the pace. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, because you have all, all all lines. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, um, Alice. I'm getting uh, some of it. I can pick up some of it. I'm. 
slow, but I am slow. I can also go over the lesson afterwards. Okay. Did you want? Did you want to ask a question about something that we talked about already? Uh, no, it's okay for now. I'm okay. Just... Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Okay. So we just did this one. So yesterday, yesterday we learned half a lesson. So shiklo hoto is past perfect here. We had learned. Oh, okay. So shiklo will be the we learn, and shiklo hoto is making it past perfect. Okay. Oops. So shiklo ahe is present perfect. Shiklo hoto is past perfect. Shiklo asen will be future perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, at uh, pure pure uh, zauya. So zauya is let's like let's go. So hmm. ya added to the end means you're inviting somebody to do something. And so zau is we go. So it becomes let's go when you say zauya. Hmm. How how will you say let's work? Mm. Let's work. Mm. Okay. So so go doesn't apply here. No no that's correct. Let's go. Uh, oh, okay. Go yeah. So if you want to say apply the same rules and say let's work. How will you say? Oh okay I see. Um. Come. Har karuya. Right. <laughs> okay. And let's let's play football. Paula, how will you say? Sorry, I was in mute. Um, to play was um. Okay, football. F football kauya. Is it, oh. do you say to do or is it play? Let's do football. Yeah, let's play football. Mm, I forgot the verb to play. Care, care, ne? Right. So maybe you can. Care, care, ne? Okay, care, uh -huh. ne? Uh, so let's foot play football, maybe. Football, Kelia. Kelia. Right. And football, Kauya will be. Let's eat football. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people are that uh, much of the fans of football. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Kal yesterday. Uh, so this one is a little more complicated. So mm -hmm. is to uh, to teach. I put to learn. Mm -hmm. And so shikowne is to teach. Then it becomes shiko, which is uh, teach, like Stay you teach somebody. <laughs> and then Shiko le is the past third person, so uh, he, she learned. And then when you add le on the end, mm -hmm. uh, which is the plural ending for this particular thing, it becomes things that were taught. Right. Shiko le le. Yeah, so it becomes kind of, uh, it's adjective. Yeah, okay. So had it been mas masculine singular, it will be shiko le la. So if you want to say like uh, the lesson that was taught yesterday, so it will be Kal Shikavalela Dada. Okay, what was I gonna write here? And because it is plural. Adjective. Mm, ad adjective. So it's adjective made from a verb. Okay, so Shikavalele. Uh, sorry. Uh, 
kale ka. So yesterday, the things that were taught, all the things that were taught. This is all sagare. Uh, and then this verb is to understand. Karale. So did you understand everything that was taught yesterday? Hmm. And then ka is the question marker for yes or no questions. Or also can mean why. Okay. Karale will be third person form, not second person. Oh, where did I put that? Um, the last line. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Third person. Okay. So if you want to phrase a similar question, did you understand the lesson taught yesterday? So the so, same words, see. just change the forms. Paula, you can also try. Um, Tada, yesterday and uh, lesson. Well, what was the word for lesson? Or do you use like a chapter? Kara, Dada. Kara, Dada. Again, so can you repeat again the, the question? Yeah. Did you understand the chapter taught yesterday? Did you understand the chapter taught yesterday? Okay. So... Kara, um, Kara, uh, no, because we have to adjectivize, right? Like, uh, un chapter understood that was taught yesterday. Hmm. Yeah. Kara. Mm -hmm. Kar, kara. Not kar, kal. L. Kar. Not l. L in lemon. Kal. Kal. Kara. Shikalele. Karele ka. So since we're changing from all the things that were taught, shikalele. Uh, sagari. It'll since it's just the lesson on its own. It'll be singular, right? Ah, lela, lela. Oh, good, you were typing. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I yeah, I kind of need to see it. Uh, okay, so kara shikav lela, kara. Uh, Kalaleka. Again, there will be change in the uh, multiplicity in the verb form also. Like whether you understood the single lesson. Halala. Right. Is that right? <laughs> And this another variation. Did you understand the poem taught yesterday? Poem is Kavita, which is feminine. Kavita. Kavita. V I T A. V. Ah. Yeah. It's poem. It's feminine singular. Oh, isn't that also name of of person? Kavita. Yes. Swap back and forth a few times. Sorry. Lily, she got Lily. Okay, yeah, she got Lily. Uh, uh, it keeps throwing, so it'll be E. Mm -hmm. Kale Lee. 
खाली सो यू रिमेम्बर दैटर्न लाइक ला ली ले ले ल्या ली शिकवलेली and same will be in there in egg verb form padala padali padale padale padalya padali lali le le lali so in this case is this actually plural or is it just neutral it's plural okay because okay. everything dot yes okay chapter thought yesterday then the chapter thought yesterday was mas masculine hmm huh. Uh, Emily, okay. could you paste the two sentences in the chat so I can? Yeah. Them? Thanks. Uh, except if I don't know how to do that, then mm. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I pasted it there. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Mhm. Mm and then they just say yes <laughs> it's understood um nakki means are you completely certain about that ho nakki uh kal de dilela so same thing here right dilela thing that was given so this is i had the the singular down here la is singular masculine I write that in okay uh gu gu uh gosh group group part group part mm -hmm. uh homework kelia mm -hmm. ka so did you do the homework that i that was given out yesterday that i gave yesterday um mm. uh, by me na na ha nahi uh nahi. oh sorry nahi kela so kela didn't do nahi kela did not do i ma'am i didn't do it mm -hmm. so then she says why ka mala kal uh bara bara uh wa watat nav navta 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 right mm so nahi hota becomes nav navta mm -hmm. just a contraction of the two so it i did not um wa wa what sorry watat is feeling and then uh bara is fine so i wasn't feeling well yesterday right so how will you make a question from this how were you feeling yesterday mm tula kal uh kai kya kai kya kya sabhi uh mm -hmm. let's see how so kitty how is kasa um uh, kasa mm. so oh yeah so thula uh kal kasa what watak uh hota ka wait hota hota right kal tula कस वाटत होत हाउ वेर यू फीलिंग यस्टरडे 
similar question can be asked uh, about someone's opinion for example if you go to watch a movie or you visited some ex- uh, exhibition and someone wants uh, how did you uh, feel it or how did you find it tula kasa vatla to movie tula kasa vatla so what did you think about that movie about that exhibition or about that event tula kasa vat but vatla ha tula kasa vatla like in context it's going to mean uh something specific like how did you like like for instance if i cook uh, yesterday mm-hmm. uh something that was like a dish i've been kind of like working on mm-hmm. then um um uh, then i will to la casavatla or will be like how was it yesterday or is more like asking for the opinion to la to la casavatla kai maja padartha kala ratri mi banale for example you can make it in two parts ki mi kal tula dish dili tula kashi vatli i gave you a dish or a recipe how did you find it tula kashi vatli based on the gender you will change it kashi vatli kasa vatla hmm Mm. how will you say okay i felt it was okay it was good <laughs> then you will say sangli vatli it was good bari vatli it was okay not too great not too bad okay can you say them again sorry yeah sangli vatli sangla vatla it will be c h a sangli vatli it was i found it good bari vatli b a r i v i i found it okay not too bad not too good okay <coughs> bari not bari first word yeah Wait, what? Bari. Oh. Like Bari. Mm. Okay, gotcha. Okay, does somebody else want to take over? Because this is about the end of my stuff. It's mostly vocab here. Paula, do you so, want to go ahead? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, where, so where are we now? Mala... Hara. So we're on Tikahe at the T. Yeah. Tik Tikahe. Okay, one second. I'll I'll share my desktop and then I'll Okay. Good job, Emily. You're doing it very well. For the pronunciation. Thank you. Oh yeah, thank you. I have I have, I have help. So <laughs> one second. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'm still finding um teacher when is the unit I was not feeling well tikahe okay mm-hmm. teacher when is unit test by tatani ha pariksha ja ja tatani or ja jani no ready ja jani right satani ah satani 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 pariksha khadiya hai ke satani satani pariksha pariksha is test satani so i will understand then chacha is unit then chachani pariksha is the 
the yeah, unit ni tariksha it's not uh, the literal translation so in english we call it unit test in marathi we call it as satsani pariksha so the uh, exams that happen monthly or once in uh, two months or quarterly and for so we'll call it as a unit test mid year test and yearly test that is the general pattern followed here ओके 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 देन देन ऑन दिस वन आई वाज ट्राइंग टू आइडेंटिफाई आल्सो द लेसन टू रेफर देन इट विल बी व्हेन यू इंडिकेट पोसेशन देन पुदाचा mahinyat hmm. uh, to this cha one thing i can uh, um found um, yeah like uh, why like in this why in this will you do cha and nyat like the two and like that instead of just like put a cha mah mahin yeah mahinya so actually uh, in english we won't go say in this month we will say next month but in marathi it will be translation of saying in next month mm. so when you when you have a prepositional phrase that um follows a description so pura cha pura pudha is next you have to have cha in between to to connect to the preposition so pura cha uh, mahinyat at so, so since you have the preposition there it has to have cha so pure is next purutsa mm -hmm. is the adjective made from it purutsa is next so in english actually we have same word for both the things so when you want to say next as an adjective it will be purutsa mahina and now because you are adding at the preposition in it you are making you are using uh, the samanya roop form so purcha mm -hmm. will become purchya and mahina will become mahinya and then ta mahinyat same thing if if you want to say in last month it will be magchya mahinyat mage is behind so the in the past month it will be magchya mahinyat So you can write it like "pude" is next, "purcha" is next as adjective, and "purcha" is its samanya roop form. Ch, "purcha," and the form will be "purcha" is the form to be used when you are adding the preposition. then the lesson to refer um will be this one or uh i think it is the lesson related to adjectives made from prepositions my just okay we have seen adjectives made from verb and this is adjective made from preposition uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um no i don't think i have that one refer here <clears throat> okay i'll look at the link here in the zoom chat you post in zoom chat okay <laughs> but i think that purcha word is not there in the table but you will know the concept what i'm talking about it's it's kind of funny to go back to uh, chat okay yeah it helped me good yeah <clears throat> is they decided uh tarik 
Okay, then Tarali is to the side, then Tara Tarne Tarane, right? Side and then Tarik. just note down the related word will be Tharavane, which is to decide, and uh, Tharane will be like to get decided, and Tharavane is to make a decision like we had seen shikane shikavane so have you decided will be in that case you will use tharavane is it decided tharlika yeah to get decided oh again sorry rashika i kind of mixed mix those two mm -hmm. Tharavane and Tharane. So Tharavane will have an object. Right. And Tharane make a decision. Okay. And that, yeah, so did you understand the difference or uh, Emily? No, you... not not so clear. <laughs> no. Yeah, if you can repeat and perhaps like give one example. I think we made this um, we make this distinction with one of the articles that I was learning, uh, what I was reading as uh, some work a couple of weeks ago. And uh, as part of that, we were talking about these two. Yeah, so it's words. about the uh, caus causative verb. So when you say tadik tharlika, it's like, has it been decided? Has it got decided? And when you will say tadik tharavlika, so it's like, have you decided? Or I, something which is more active. Um, as far as I understand it, so intransitive. Uh, or uh, causative and what's right. the opposite of causative? <laughs> um, so like Tharavane takes an object. Hmm. Tharavane does not take an object. So Tharavane, did you decide on this specific thing on an object? Tharavane is just, is it decided with no object? Mm -hmm. Okay, and in this case is tarane because it's taralika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. because the person's not asking if she decided the date; they're just asking, "Is the date decided?" Mm. Like for instance, if if uh, if I invite someone, uh, like uh, to yeah, I don't know, like uh organizing a day out right and then uh, i ask have you decided if you're going to join right then mm -hmm. um let's say have have you decided well, have you decided to the join when we're going out that would be easier to make a sentence of Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I was because more thinking like uh, the like I'm I'm making a list and I'm going through the office asking like like who who decided to to join the day out and who didn't. So sort of have you decided to join our day off or over off site sort of speak. Right. <laughs> That is sort of like my imagination 
because I have had to ask this in the office mm. when I organize stuff. So, <laughs> uh, okay, Tumhala. Um, Offsite. Uh, Tada Vala. Tada, and that will be in the past. Tara Lavale Ka Ka. So you still need to join in there somewhere, right? Oh, Tumhala off have you decided on the off site? So, what is to join? Tara Vale. Mm, something which uh, to come to offsite. Mm. Without join, just make it come, which is simple verb. Come. Or go. Or then. <clears throat> uh, I would say uh, that is with the verb jane. Hmm. No? Okay. Tumhala offsite. Go. To go is jane, to come is jane. <laughs> Okay, to go then. Yeah, yeah, and yene and yene. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Come then, and then, oh, to hala upside, haravale. Upside, yeah, and I have no idea. <laughs> Is that there are two verbs, and then <clears throat> with, with two verbs, what's like the uh, karaila or that form will be used here. So I decided going there. Yeah, it's also not. Yeah, it's Tumala, it's to me. To me, Tharavaleka. Have you decided? To me, offside la. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Offside la, because it's uh, like that. Can of. Hmm. Particle. So, can you also use yaila instead of yaitse? No. It's like for coming, yaila. Mm. For coming. Okay. So, then what would be the difference between tumhi offsite yaila tarableka? What's the difference between that and this sentence? Uh, yaila can be used if you want to say a sentence like are you ready to come to offsite to me offsite la yaila tayar ahatta are you ready to for coming okay offsite la yaila y a y a l a are you ready for coming. Yaila. Uh, Tayar Taravaleka. Tayar Ahatta. Are you ready? <coughs> Tayar Ahat. Taravaleka. Okay. Oh, there is no Taravale here. No, no. there is not. <laughs> okay. Tayar Ahatka. Are you ready for coming? And have you decided to come? To be of Salajala Tayar Ahatka. Okay. Wow. Like the entire verb form changes if you decide to ask for are you ready or have you decided? Huh. Like, because it's not tayara hot ka. Huh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so the next sentence is not yet. So she is. The lady is talking like in general that some authority it's her, or the decision is not yet known to her. But if you want to say, I have not yet decided, then there she, we will use me tharavale nahi. So we'll see the next sentence and there we'll add it. We'll add it in the next sentence, Paula. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
अजून नाही देन मी ठरवले नाही ऑन दिस अजून अजून नाही मी ठरवले अजून नाही मी अजून ठरवले नाही ओ मी अजून ठरवले नाही दिस वन कशिक विच लेसन कॅन आय रिफर टू कॅन अ रिवाय रिव्ह्यू सॉरी दिस वेन आय वंथ पुच्छे वंथ पुला there is a lesson about positive words positive words this this dialogues are, are very nice to study cuz they look simple but uh, also the way the phrases are done is there are phrases like we couldn't have come up with how they are done because it's like just natural way of saying native style of saying mm mm-hmm. okay i'll let i <clears throat> a place holder there look up then ajun nahi or me ajun tharavale nahi mm, okay but mostly it will be from 15th pan bahut hek bhamdra thara thara खे फसून असेल थरखे पसून असेल दिस वर्ड थरखे पसून आय हॅव नॉट हेर बेफोर ऑल्सो प्रिवियस सेंटेन्स इज तारीख सो वी आर ॲडिंग पासून टू इट तारीख प्लस पासून सो दॉर्म चेंजेस बिकम्स तारखे पासून Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I found the lesson related to this, this one that says uh, prepositions with similar pronunciation or similar meanings that Pasoon, um, Kadoon Okay But start pre- preparing from now onwards only pan athapa sunat thayari suru kara pan athapa sunat thayari suru kara okay so atta is right now the one was tara khe pasun ata pasunach and so they added to indicate the or emphasize right now from right now what in the case that the cha in so, the end yeah to emphasize so ata pasun is from now ata pasunach right now immediately without any delay so emphasize oh okay suru kara like uh, start to get ready tayari suru kara okay then ho so emily you may want to add whatever notes you have taken if you have added something different at the note i don't i don't have anything written for this part i didn't get this far Mm-hmm. Well, I, well, let me look again. Hold on. Then also I think this is infinitive suru kara. Let's move towards the lesson. It's command. 
imperative sentence. I put the notes the that I've taken. The part in you. Oh, I put some of the notes that I've taken in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. My barn got messed up. I didn't quite get the whole word, but you know what I meant. Hmm. It doesn't allow me to go in the chat. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you also move it up. Ready here. Who take? Oh, what? Oh, this is from previous, right? The kare pasun from date. Kare pasun. This is from this other. Who take probably? Okay, yeah, we're here. Pam who take pandara kare pasun asel. From date. Wait, sorry, Kashi? The first word in that sentence it is pun, not perm. It is ah, okay. Pun. 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 Okay. Then should I continue? Or do you want to make like some example? Um, let's say, for instance, if I say, um, um, from now on, um, we we have reading homework. Like we were doing a couple of weeks back. So then I'll say at Apasunat, like in the previous like in this other Apasunaj Apan uh like I don't know what, how we will say we have like um what we will do can be Karnada a hat. We are doing. So, how do you say we have? I have. Mm. I got stuck <laughs> on that one. I can't remember. I'll need to revise. But I have HP laptop with me. Mm. Emily, how will you say? I have laptop with me. Uh, Maja kare. Mm -hmm. Laptop. Uh, ahe. All right. Mm, but how will you say instead of a a plea kare? Then our word homework. Another way of saying a position is like I have two brothers. How do you say that? Me don bhau. Mm, I will say. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused with the word to have. Um, yes, there is Mala. Mala don bhawa hai. Mala don bhawa hai. So same way you will use here. Mala abhyasa hai. Mala guhupa na hai. Or in this case, because you're saying from now on we have reading hour. So atta pasun, aplya la. Aplya la. And reading is yeah. not lehine. Lehine is writing, right? Oh. Which of lehai sa do watsa itsa? Ba. Not watsa itsa. Watsa itsa. C H V A C H A. No T there. B A C H A. Bachai, bachne. Aya bachne, bachai. It's a. To have had. And then uh, to have a hat. Then. Why a hat? Only with a. Like we have homework. So it's not based on we. It's upon what? So we have one thing. So Gurupat ahe, Mala ahe. So it's irrespective of who has. So it's Mala ahe, Tula ahe, Kiala ahe, Sila ahe. So it's based on the gender and multiplicity of the object. Mm. Okay. Like. There is sort of like saying there is reading homework from now on. Hmm. For us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Alice, is, are, are, Alice, are you good? Uh, I'm okay, just like it's a bit over my head, but I guess I'll catch up later. <laughs> but now when she will read the lesson, she will be able to relate few things. Okay, this is how you were dividing the words. You are putting things together. I just was wondering like which lessons I should refer to. Is it the ones posted in this uh, Google, in this sheet or is it different? Uh, lessons. The links given in the chat are of those where we uh, I have covered the grammar lesson or rules which we are discussing. Okay. And this one is one of the conversation between teacher and student. I mean, like uh, the links I should study, uh, the lessons I should study to understand the sentences. Are they the ones in Paolo's chat? or uh, Paolo's uh, uh, Excel sheet. Oh, is this when you paste it now? I read this, I yeah, read so it. This is the conversation that we're discussing and the mm -hmm. other links are the rules that we talked about before while like uh, analyzing the sentence. But as you are just recently started, you keep uh, your pace and uh, keep your sequence of going through the, from the start basics. Yeah. Okay. Because unless those basics are clear, you won't be able to relate to the uh, next lessons. Okay. And you are. Good. So I think we made to the top of the hour. So perhaps we leave it. Yeah. So how many less sentences are there? Okay, okay, so we can cover it next time and we'll also decide one of the uh, lessons so that if you cover this one next time, you will have some few more sentences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have good amount of homework. <laughs> Should I share my notes as well this time? Yes, please. Okay. Um, how how should I send those? I think the best way would be to copy in Excel and send an Excel file. Okay. 
is it on the shared drive or somewhere you can just send the link okay yeah i can share it so what i'm thinking is to let me share the screen so as a next lesson we can go for the simpler one of sentences in hotel which are very simple sentences marathi sentences i just pasted the link in the chat so we'll first uh, finish the remaining sentences of uh, this lesson teacher student and then we will if time permits we will go for this lesson sentences in hotel i think that will be pretty, pretty simple lesson because i'm just going through it it doesn't have very not much variations in the sentence the simple questions but let's see yeah okay sounds good thank you so much thank you, thank you everybody thank you bye liz bye paula bye thank you bye bye have bye. a happy week take care bye bye